Hi, Zim Academy, and welcome. Today we are going to talk about our first semester. What's our first semester? We've learned about God. God's creation. That God created the world because I do not believe that I'm an accident. Are you an accident? No. No, you have a purpose in life, correct? Yes, we all have a purpose in life and the Bible tells us how it all began and how God created everything with a purpose, right? So we need to figure out how to put the Bible's word, which is God's word, which we learned, right? Into our world today. And how can we see God if he's not physically like a person walking around like Jesus did? He's, we have to see the signs. He's from, a spirit. Right, he's a spirit. So we can't physically see him, but you know how he communicates with us? By his signs, by his promises, and the things that we can trust. What can we trust in? We know for sure that at night there's stars. Well, there's stars all the time, but at night is when we see them, right? Oh yeah, at night. But if there's clouds in the sky, can we see the stars? No. But we know that they're there. We trust that they're there, right? It's like God's word. We trust that it is true, right? And we know that he created the stars, so He, the stars are there. We know the story of Noah. He was a faithful servant to God, and he trusted God's word. So what did he do? He built a boat. He followed his instructions. He was obedient to God. God made, told him to make a boat to save the animals and his family, right? And he flooded the earth. But what happened after he flooded the earth? Every animal died. Except for the things that were inside the boat. But when Noah walked out into the land, the new land, after the, the water came down, God gave Noah a promise. And what was that promise? He was going to flood. He was not going to flood the whole world ever again. Right. So he wasn't going to flood the earth again with water. So he made a promise, and we see that promise in the whole world. Right, because it's in the rainbow. That is a promise that was put in the Bible, and we see it, still see it today. Right. God's promise is the rainbow. So today we're going to learn about God's promise, the rainbow, which is the seven colors, because we know that God said that it's not, things are not complete if it's not in his word, right? So if a rainbow doesn't have indigo. Is it complete? No. No, it's not. Because we didn't have indigo, but when we mixed blue and purple, it made indigo. Right, so now the rainbow is complete. Like Red, God's word. Yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Right. Can you change that? No. Just like God's word, you can't change it. Remember the story about the king and Jeremiah? The king didn't like the God's word and then and then he burned it and then and then God told Jeremiah to write it again. Because God's word is indestructible. You cannot change it, you cannot add to it, you cannot take away from it. So so now we're gonna learn how the reaction between salt and ice react to each other. Salt melts, melts ice. That's right. Now we're gonna try two different experiments. One with coarse salt, really harsh rock-like salt, and fine salt with painting. That's another project. Let's start with this one first. We've already put food coloring into our bowl. Okay, we're gonna take out our ice. It's stuck, so we have to use scissors. Exactly, but it's nice and smooth. Okay, so now we know that ice is smooth, right? It's like sleet. When it snows, 
and it's slippery, this is what happens. It's very smooth and it's slippery and very dangerous. What do the what do people do? We put we put salt on the ice so it can break up and it won't be as dangerous. Like and we can drive on the roads. So we're gonna start with our colors. We're gonna make God's word our rainbow and we're gonna see how it changes the life of ice. ice. Not necessarily that ice is alive, but it's kind of like our lives. How do we apply God's word and promises to our lives and how does it change us? <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> okay. So we're gonna pretend that we are the ice. We're the ice. We're the ice. And now we're gonna take God's word little by little <laughs> and we're gonna put it on top of the ice. We're gonna see how it changes. But wait, let's take this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna start with from left to right, okay? So we're gonna put salt over and make the rainbow. Well, you know, when there's really stuck on bad stuff or evil or bad doings, you know what changes that? Like this, like this is the evil part and this is God destroying it. Right, it changes things. God's word changes lives. Like this Any is evil, life. this is not. Right, so let's put, go ahead. Start putting the orange and there's always order. Can you change the, the order of the rainbow? Oh no. No, because then it wouldn't be the rainbow. Yeah. Right? So you what can't change rainbow? God's word. It has to be perfect and in his order. Just like everything happens for a reason and things happen in God's time. Not in our, our time. Right, not in our time. So it's gonna take a little bit, but you can start to see how the salt is sinking into the ice. I can see. You can see? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see the ice. You see how it's sinking in? Already sinking into the ice. Look, the ice is melting. Wow, yeah, you, it's made it a crater. Right? Yeah. Poor ice. Wow. Poor ice. Right there. It's not the poor ice, it's the change. Ah, it's sinking in. Oh, ho, ho. I'm sinking in. All right, let's keep doing the rainbow. <laughs> It's okay, just put it. Well, the yellow's already sinking in. So we've learned that God's word is true and we can see his signs in our world today by the rainbow, right? We can see that if you read God's word, it can change your life for the better. Okay, let's spread this out just a little bit more so we can have more craters. Why more craters? So we can see it. Wow, look! Look how deep these salt is. Which one? That one. Why is it melting the ice? It's hurting the ice. It's not hurting, it's changing. And sometimes change hurts. Why sometimes? Well, because sometimes things are a lot more difficult to change. And 
sometimes, you know, we go through things in life that hurt, but those are also lessons that God uses to teach us and to change our behavior or thought process. But the ice hasn't done anything. No, but it's clinging on to God because it's trusting that it'll change for the better. Just like us. And it's telling us to trust in God, right? Hmm? Oh, let's see, what do we got here? Brown water. It's making brown. Wait, all those colors are making brown? Oh yeah, because when you mix a bunch of colors, it makes no color. It makes brown. Okay, but let's not mix the green and the yellow. Let's keep it separate because colors are separate. Okay, come on, we still got some more to go. This is looking really cool. No more craters, please. No more craters, why did you do this to me? Oh, no more okay, come on. There's only room for one more. No, we're gonna make room. Because there's one here, one here, and you know, try to get it as close together as possible, okay? Well, look how much this is. Okay, just use as much as you need just to get it as close together as possible. It's a small, small row close to the green. Try not to mix the color because the rainbow doesn't mix. Good. You can't use it. You can move a little, use a little more right over here. color it feels like a tooth has has a cavity wow let's see let's see this purple so far. I mean this red look at those craters wow. Wow. and the more it sits there the more change we see okay come on let's go get the indigo Indigo's coming fast. Yeah. Cool Whoa, indigo. Look at the water. Wow. It's look. kind of forming the rainbow. Look, red, green, blue, brown, yellow. Oh yeah, red. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Let's go. The water is even making the rainbow. <laughs> The rainbow is making the water from the ice making the rainbow. Right. A rainbow making a rainbow. So we thought it was brown, but it's not. It's pretty. But I don't see the yellow. Oh, you don't see it? It's right there. Oh yeah, I see a little bit of it. Yellow right there. Next to the green. Good, okay. Now let's do the violet. Oh, this is so, turning out to be so pretty. Wow. We can just put it here at the edge. Right there. Yeah. 
this is hard. Okay. Hey, look, there's purple, there's purple salt in there. That might make purple. Mm -hmm. I got a little bit more purple here. Mm -hmm. That's all done. It's all done? Okay, let's see. Wow. Okay, now let's start to look at the ice. How has God changed the life of the ice? So that ice would be us and the salt is God's word. Let's see. Salt melts the ice. But so why have... the salt going into the ice? Because it's melting it. It's changing the degrees of salt I mean of the ice see how it's sinking in there mm -hmm. wow it's creating pathways new pathways it's coming out with a great new design look at the salt look at that right there see, it's, it's melting it it's gonna be crazy. look at that salt which one wow let's see that one's been digging in that's right, how pretty. It's making it beautiful. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's killing it. It's killing the ice. No, it's not. It's giving the ice its identity. You see the little lines? I promise you, if you do this experiment again, the same lines will not happen. It's like your fingerprint. Stop moving. Why will the lines not happen again? They'll happen different lines. Everybody has different fingerprints, right? Look at that. Look at that, how pretty. All these are created. Whoa! Purple! Purple! There you go. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and gold, and violet, too. That's nice. So we're gonna take a moment, let this sink in for a little bit and see what the end result is. Why was the ice up here? Why was the salt up here and now it's down there? You can see that the salt has eaten away the ice, right? Eaten? This, yeah, because the salt melted. melted. It melts the ice. It changes the temperature of the freezing cold of the ice. It's still freezing cold. Yes, but where the salt is, it changes the temperature so it melts and there that's that's warm a little it's a little warmer right than the freezing cold if you touch it you can see the difference and that's where it creates all the little craters and the different designs so How do you think that's different? How, how do you think that's the same in our lives? God's word in our lives. 
Look at that. Look at that. Look at that big crater. Look at that crater right there. Look at that ginormous crater. Wow. Yeah, you can see the change. Look at that. Look at this side. Wow, we see it. The dynamic crater. Uh huh. Keep it turning. I like it. I like this. No, no, this way, this way, this way. Let's look at that. The purple. There you can really see the craters. How do you think this this applies to our lives and God's word? Since it's the promise of God. Do you think that do you notice that because we added the salt, which is represents God's word but why would this, to the ice, it well, changes it. Well why would the food coloring on the salt and you put the food coloring and salt on on the ice, it still melts the ice. The food coloring doesn't change the, the, what the salt does to the ice. This is just so that we can see the difference in colors. And where the food coloring represents the truth of God's word. The salt is God's word. And the ice is us. And what is the food coloring? The truth about God's word. Why is that funny? That's cool. Okay. It's not funny, it's cool. It's cool, right? Oh, look, that looks really cool right there. Look. You can see the red going in the ice. Right there, you can see the coloring. Biggest crater I've ever seen.